Hello Virgo, it's my lady from Malay's Way Terry and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 10th through July. Alright, so I saw the Freedom card and I guess um, someone wants to break up with you possibly. Um, July 10th through July 17th, 2017. The cards I am reading today are... Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings. If you wanted a personal reading, check in the description box below. Email me, we can set something up. Um, I don't know if I said this, but don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to set up, I mean, don't forget to check your Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. I, I know y'all been hearing. I can't say subscribe that well. I hate it. I don't know why. But I, I want to make up my own words. And I'm going to work on that this week. <laughs> Alright, so. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Oh, this too much. Alright, giving gifts to manipulate people. But it's emotionally draining. Because this person got... Secrets coming out about baggage. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So I feel like I'm hearing baby might be the baggage. I feel like the secret is coming out that's emotionally draining is somebody somebody got a whole ass family at home. Alright, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo 10 through 17, July 2017? Okay, there it is again. Um, somebody is thinking about letting you go, but this is a general reading. It could be back and forth. Let's see why. What's going on? What's going on? Mm. So somebody been telling you over and over and over that they want to let you go, but we didn't. We don't know why. Mm. Okay. So I feel like in some cases this could be because your friends then told them some stuff, or their friends told them something about you, Taurus. Mm. What is these guys? What is this secret about? What is these secrets about for the Virgo? I think I said Taurus a second ago. So you might be dealing with a Taurus. What's going on with the Virgo? Virgo, Virgo. What's going on with the Virgo? July 10 through 17, 2017. What is this guy card about? Mm. Okay, so... I feel like somebody's friends have been talking to them about you. Or you, your friends have been telling you that your partner doesn't love you. Okay? There's a lot of stories here. Okay, so another story is somebody has been talking, your friends have been talking to your boyfriend or girlfriend and telling them that you don't love them. Okay? That's the biggest picture I'm seeing here. All right, and this is making your partner want to let you go. So, or their friends are telling them that. Their friends are telling them that you don't love them. I feel like both sides. Your friends are telling you that your partner doesn't love you. And, and their partners is telling them. So both sides, y'all got friends trying to do this I don't know but I don't feel like it's a bad reason though okay so somebody is not caring about the relationship I really feel like you guys as friends are trying to protect you from each other you know I don't feel like this is a negative thing that they telling you that you don't love her or you don't love him I feel like your relationship may be toxic and they trying to save y'all from yourself okay like, this ain't love. This is obsession I'm feeling. 
freedom. Yeah, y'all, you guys are gonna break up if y'all already haven't. And I'm a feel, I'm feeling like y'all gonna think that it wasn't the right thing to do. We need to go get back together. But if y'all keep going to jail, or somebody trying to call the police, or somebody throwing stuff at you, picking up weapons, then you shouldn't be with this person. This is no good. So your friends are trying to protect you, y'all from each other. Wow, y'all not even like sexually attracted to each other. This is nuts. Yeah, and y'all both dishonest. Yeah, y'all dishonest with y'all selves to believe that this is right. So I believe y'all, when y'all break up, y'all gonna see the future, but it's, it's gonna be a couple months before y'all realize that this person, these, y'all no good for each other. It's like, oh, you remember that show? It was a show called, um, I don't remember, but it's like, you get two people together and they just both start killing people. This is what kind of relationship y'all got, you know? Or killing each other, y'all be the best people in the world until y'all meet each other and then y'all just toxic to y'all selves and everybody. That's what I feel like is going on here. I'm sorry, but that's just what I'm, I'm hearing. All right. Virgo, Virgo. What's going on with Virgo for the week of 10? No, through July 10th through 17th, 2017. Virgo love reading. I'm going to remember the name of that show. Mm -mm. Yeah, not not successful. Yeah, I feel like y'all didn't try this over and over, and every time y'all did, it wasn't no success and no change. It got worse every time, and y'all felt like y'all was in prison by each other. Mm. That false imprisonment. Look, he can just stand up and just walk away, but in his mind, he feel like, whew, his or uh, his mind, he feel like he's stuck. But he ain't stuck. All right. Look at this. Secrets, secrets, secrets. All right. So, read this straight out the book. This is the Six of Staffs reversed. Six of Staffs reversed. Paranoia, nervousness, concerns about betrayal, false pride, and could be an obstacle. So, this makes me feel like... Um, you guys may be trying to act like your relationship is great when it's not, you know, and you're trying to have pride in something that is horrible. You know, it's like a you, like, at least I got somebody kind of thing. But if it's bringing you to the brinks of possibly going to jail or death, is it really worth it, okay? All right, so now we got the Eight of Swords. Sword, sword, sword. I think it's called Wicked Attractions. I think that's the name of it. I don't know. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords. Sorry. Sorry it's taking so long. Alright, so the Eight of Swords is upright. It says, feeling of being held prisoner trapped by some force. A situation difficult to escape from. So, yeah, that's you feeling like you can't get away from this person. I don't know why we'd be so scared to walk away from a couple of dishes in the sink that's ours or a blender, you know, or that's my rake, you know, that we can't leave the house because it, it belongs to that house, you know. Woo, get out while you can. That's all I can say. Moon, the moon card. All right, the moon is reversed. Frequent mistakes and emotional dilemma. Yeah, every day you lying cheating stealing you know it, even if you aren't you are in this relationship this goes both ways this is like a collaboration y'all are doing all this stuff to each other all right we got the high priestess okay so the high priestess says something is hidden something is being kept secret possibly by a female double check all information something is still hidden mysterious events especially supernatural may occur so i don't know a, a lot of my viewers like to say it, it's dark magic going on here but it possibly can but all this negativity it's got to be from something but 
Uh, I'm taking my hands off this one. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a personal reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, thanks for watching. Have a great day.